Indonesia is experiencing a nickel rush. The country holds the world's largest reserves of this critical metal. Demand for nickel is soaring, fueled by the global transition to electric vehicles. Indonesia has become a key supplier for major economies like China. This surge in nickel production is positioned as a green revolution, but a closer look reveals a darker side. Indonesia's nickel industry is booming, but at what cost? Nickel is an essential component of lithium-ion batteries, which power electric vehicles. These batteries require high nickel content to achieve greater energy density and longer driving range. As the EV market explodes, so too does the demand for nickel. Indonesia's vast reserves have made it a prime destination for mining companies eager to capitalize on this growing market. The world is demanding cleaner transportation and electric vehicles are seen as the solution. But the batteries that power these vehicles rely on a dirty, secret nickel mining. From the mines of Indonesia to the factories where batteries are assembled, this critical mineral leaves a trail of environmental destruction and human suffering. Indonesia's nickel mines are concentrated on Sulawesi, Halmahera and other islands renowned for their biodiversity. These islands are home to rainforests teeming with unique species, many found nowhere else on Earth. But the nickel boom is rapidly transforming these pristine landscapes into industrial wastelands. Open pit mining strips away entire mountainsides, leaving behind gaping scars on the earth. The process generates massive amounts of waste rock and tailings, often laden with heavy metals. When these toxins leach into the soil and water, they contaminate drinking sources, poison wildlife, and threaten the livelihoods of local communities. Perilous work, fatal accidents, and lack safety standards. The rush to extract nickel comes at a human cost. Miners often work in dangerous conditions, facing the risk of landslides, equipment malfunctions, and exposure to hazardous materials. Safety standards are often lax, particularly in Chinese-owned operations. Fatal accidents are alarmingly common. In 2020, a tailings dam collapse at a Chinese-owned nickel mine in Sulawesi killed dozens of workers. The incident highlighted the industry's disregard for safety regulations and the lack of accountability for mining companies. The regulatory void. Turning a blind eye to environmental destruction. Indonesia's government has been criticized for weak environmental regulations and lax enforcement. The allure of economic growth and foreign investment has often overshadowed concerns about the environmental and social impacts of nickel mining. Corruption further exacerbates the problem, allowing companies to operate with impunity. The pursuit of a green future cannot come at the expense of people and the planet. The Indonesian government must prioritize the well-being of its citizens and the protection of its natural heritage. Stricter regulations, robust enforcement, and a commitment to transparency and accountability are essential to ensuring that the nickel boom benefits Indonesia, not just foreign corporations. <laughs>